Norman Norwich here. Today on the Nissan Navara a 2008 R51 I'm going to be doing the rear right and left um, sway bar linkages. These are called sway bar linkages and uh, these are unfortunately Nissan um, genuine parts because I couldn't get uh, aftermarket ones for some well could but they weren't heavy duty that was that was my issue I could get them but they weren't heavy uh, heavy duty so I decided to fit these today but when I'm under there I'm going to check the uh, sway bar um, the actual bar that goes between the two axles so I'm going to have a look at them today as well because it may well be that that's been changed because I've got a little bit of a a good little sway on the car not all the time but just now and again and I think mm. but like I said before this guy had this car before me um, he um, towed the car on. so I'll show you what I've got right here now this is what I've got the sway bar linkages these here now they didn't come with nuts so I'm going to use the existing nuts providing they're okay um, and, and obviously I've got the receipt here um, this is from uh, patrol parts but um, the website I was on they do patrols, Nissan patrols, they do um, Nissan Navaras, everything to do with Nissan really but they deal with the genuine parts predominantly um, so there is a right hand side and a left hand side now what I was going to do was going to get the paint pen the pink pen and I was going to mark a left and right on here now that's why I've got the invoice here because it tells you the part numbers as you can see you can see there the part numbers here um, is an EA510 and an EA500 so the rod connection the rod connecting that's where the description is how bizarre it's a 56261 EA501 EA500 and I've got a little pretty um, um, smelly thing from a car an air freshener now I've got my book here and I've went in here to see what the um, torque settings are this is see it's called a link arm nut on the stabilizer bar which I, I would have thought that the stabilizer bar was the other one that goes from side to side and this would be the linkage but anyway that's what I've worked out it is and the newton meter setting is 90 to 110 and in here in here because this is the Navara book uh, at Navara and Pathfinder it tells you um, exactly how to disconnect them and redo them yeah rear sta stabilizer bar stabilizer stabilizer bar link arm nuts okay so as I was saying that was my wife a little interruption there uh, stabilizer bar link arm nuts so that's the name there and I think they're 17 mil but let's just see where we're at uh, and it tells you how to do it all there and how to take it all out the other one is the the knuckle assembly pathfinder models for the actual um, which, which I would class as a stabilizer bar okay I've not got the card uh, jacked up yet so I'm going to jack the card up and um, take the wheels off but I'm just going to finish my coffee and then we'll get going but I'll mark these left and right before I do anything else so as you can see I'm under the car now I do apologize because it's a bit different a bit difficult to get a, a camera in here but where we're at if I can point maybe point with the end of this that's the linkage in the nut you're trying to take off and obviously the nuts at the other side but there's uh, it starts to spin in here so I've got a 24 in a millimeter um, spanner to just hold that mechanism there to stop it from spinning so I can get the bolts off now I've used an 
18mm matador socket which I thought was slightly better than the socket that I, that I actually took out and um, the better sockets um, are have better tolerances for the nuts but even that even that 18 mil it's a, a little tad shaky but I used a long breaker bar um, to get that nut to get these nuts just um, just broken uh, and, and the reason for that is you know the book says that they're you know 90 to 110 newton meters of torque so I'm going to probably do a hundred to be safe now right in the middle of that maybe I'll go to 90 and see how it is uh, and then and then just torque at another five or another ten rather um, but they've probably used thread locker as well on there because I would expect think surmise that this is probably being fitted at factory I wouldn't have thought these would have been changed but there might have been you, you, you never know because if you're fitting genuine parts and other people's fitting genuine parts and if this goes back to the dealership they'll be for sure uh, fitting genuine parts then you never know and um, people's going to know and I've got another video you know I've done the Monroe shock absorbers and I've done the coil springs but you can tell that these have been changed out um, because they're not the standard um, Nissan uh, parts but I'm fitting a Nissan part um, here uh, as I said I couldn't I couldn't I wanted to get heavy duty but I couldn't get anybody that uh, did heavy duty I can get heavy duty front ones but I couldn't get heavy duty back ones for some strange reason and I thought you know if I was to put in a Nissan one um, then I'd be safe enough with um, it lasting a while because you know the Nissan parts are one they're expensive but two they're they're really good quality um, so I'll get this changed out but like I say I'm just going to spin off those nuts by holding that spanner in behind uh, and they just should just pop straight off uh, and then I'll work out um, the part that I've got there won't be an up and there won't be a down I'm sure it's just a case of lining them up putting them in and uh, and and uh, talking the bolts up so I'll get back to you but I do apologize because that's not very easy to see I think it's focusing on this rather than focusing on the back and we'll get round the back here even there it's not really very clear that's where my spanner is as you can see it's on the back and I've just leaned it against this coil spring so and then I'll take off that knot I don't even I'm not even sure it's very awkward to get your hand in I'm not nah I can't get it off with my hand so I'm gonna have to get the spanner out. I've got one of those ratchet spanners um, so I'll ratchet them off and then get them in but boy I do apologize it's not very clear at all it's focusing all on the wrong things okay so as you can see that's the old linkage out so I'm going to try and line the new one up exactly the same kind of position as this one or, or pretty close because you don't want to be you don't want to be like smacking it in and burning up these um, threads do not do not want to do that so as I say I've marked right hand side um, that was just for me, that's not for anybody else. Um, and we'll line them up and just pop them in. Uh, what would have been a nice touch actually is to have an Allen key here so you can like put an Allen key in there rather than put a spanner on the back. But uh, six and a half a dozen, it did work. But these are probably pretty slack, but probably not as bad as what I thought because I thought there would be a, an, a bit knocking but these are uh, way tighter um, I will keep these until uh, uh, until I'm absolutely sure that these are alright just in case there's a faulty bit um, not throwing them away not to be a bit hasty because they're they're all sealed see they're all sealed and the rubbers are intact 
but I'm just trying to tie it up. It might not be this. Might not be this. Um, but at least I know they've been changed. Okay, there we go. Let's pop the other ones in and get the nuts on them. Well, that's it. That's that one in. This is the right hand side drivers. I am in Australia. So that's the linkage right there. So I put it up to I put it up to 90 newton meters and then I banged it up to 100 um, just to hold it. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put thread locker on there. So I'll have to remember and do that for the next side. Uh, so what I'm going to do when I'm here, I'm just going to check because I was up the Acarilla. I'm just going to check all the other knots are tight just because I'm here and I've got the wheel off for no other reason uh, for peace of mind um, and then what I'm going to do is because there's a lot of bull dust on here as you can see you know a lot of bull dust from being up the flanders um, so I'll, I've got the um, power washer so I'll put it on low pressure and I'll just give this a little bit of a blast just to give it a bit of a clean um, but I have been um, put some undercoat stuff on here the fluid film so I've got another video to do on that um, I've done phase one so I'm going to do it phase two I want to build this up because I'm quite likely this car's coming back to the UK with me so that is the um, sway bar linkages in at uh, that's an 18mm socket and I had to use the other nuts because there was no nuts came with the genuine parts as I say these are genuine and uh, they I put them up to 100 newton meters of torque um, but quite easy they just slid pretty much straight in maybe should have pulled back down the sway bar the, the stabilizer bar slightly but it just pulled it down itself and as I was doing a knot up um, but all good probably not going to show you the other side um, but that's that <coughs> so this is the next day I've taken it for a run um, I've marked these I don't know why I'm going to keep them maybe just keep them for a couple of weeks I mean I don't see the ones that's failing the ones I've just fitted um, that's my air fresher and I didn't realise it had patrol parts and Navara parts uh, on that um, air fresher so that's where I got the uh, genuine uh, parts from um, again I've got the Norbar or the um, newton meter settings here and I've written down those part numbers of this uh, tickets in there, I'll throw them in just now, they'll probably get thrown out later. Uh, don't need them, and that's in the Navarra Pathfinder uh, book. So, that is the fitting of the sway bar linkages. Uh, nice and easy, again, the hardest job of that is to, to take the wheels off and, and you know, put it on the ramps. Oh, sorry, I didn't put it on the ramps this time, but I normally put it on the ramps and then jack it up. But I didn't have to, I just jacked it up, wheels off, and 18mm uh, 18 18mm 18 spanner, and I've got looking, I've got a ratchet one, uh, and an 18mm socket, and that was pretty much uh, okay. You needed breaker bars, and you needed a 24mm spanner just to hold, uh, to stop it from spinning. But other than that, and I used some thread lock. But other than that, it was. Uh, very very easy um, so if you make a comment um, yep bye for now